Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Faction series here on royal.mincadia.com. Of course, if you guys want to come check out the server, please consider using that custom IP because whenever you guys do, it does directly support me and the channel, so I greatly appreciate it. And if you guys want to support me and support yourselves even further, hop on do slash redeem royal on Factions or on Pixelmon if you guys play both maybe. It's going to give you guys some free loot, some free money, some free gold to start off on factions or you know some free like xp and pokeballs if you're playing pixelmon but anyways guys in today's factions video tnt is going to enable but the problem is i'm not going to be able to be online right whenever tnt enables which basically pretty much means all of the good spawner raids will probably be taken by the time i actually get back online so listen i don't know if we're doing raiding in today's video but if we do it's most likely gonna be a vault but a couple seasons ago i raided a couple of vaults bro and they had mad loot in their storage system. Like, it was actually well worth rating. Hopefully, we have similar luck this season. Gonna go look for a couple of bases. But again, unless they enable their shield right whenever TNT enables, they're probably already gonna be raided. Because you guys already know, we're in the best faction on the entire server. Breach right here. We're at top number one by a absolute landslide. Wow. It's like actually not even a little bit close, bro. We have $200 billion worth of value. And if we look at Crypt, the number two faction, they don't even have 20 billion that is actually insane but anyways in today's video we do have to move into the main base because i'm recording this on thursday tnt is going to enable tomorrow so if i were to leave my spawners in here um they would be beamed for sure people have already been glitching in to this cactus farm and stuff i mean i fixed the problem mainly but they would literally pearl glitch in kill me and then sell my chest because obviously my f perms i used to have it just on like anybody could sell my chest 24 7 because i have to leave the faction and sell with raiding outposts so yeah people were glitching in literally the entire time until i changed that we double layered this up like we took some precautions but i think somehow they still get in i don't really know how but it's whatever we're moving into the main base they cannot glitch into the main base all right i am looking for my silk touch though well, I, where did it go oh my god bro did they kill me with my silk touch on me nah guys i am mind blown those guys really killed me for my silk touch i'm heated bro and i just ah searched to see if there was any silk touch on ah and there isn't any so we have ourselves a bit of a problem here i need to find a silk touch pickaxe literally asap i think i'm gonna go try and hop into the discord ask and see if any faction members have a silk touch because guys i need to mine my spawners by tomorrow if i don't i'm literally gonna have to creep reg them or like i guess i could i mean we could do this hold on all right we're crafting pickaxes and we're gonna go and try and enchant them is this the only way you can actually pull silk touch because i don't know there's got to be an enchanting table somewhere here at spawn ah just right here bang throw this in there no way we need lapis bro yo who is spent bro Who's doing this? All right, bro. Don't mind the sound of those gates like being open and closed, but bang, fortune three, unbreaking efficiency. I mean, like if we get the level 30, is it only going to come with fortune or do we, oh, is it just, it's the same for all of them. All right, bang, boom. Well, excuse me. Okay. It only comes with fortune three. Wow. That is absolutely insane. So I guess we'll just do this until we see a silk touch in here. Oh, bang. Efficiency four, silk touch one, unbreaking three. Thank you very much. That actually wasn't hard at all, bro. My bad. I actually never enchanted for a silk touch on factions in my entire life. So now let's go back to F warp CAC. We're going to move all of the spawners and I'm basically done. I've been done with cactus farms anyway. I really haven't been AFK them ever since we got a ton of IGs because they just don't really compare to the amount of money the spawners make. So we'll go ahead, take these as well. Shouldn't have a ton of these in here. Bang. Then we should only have a couple gas. It's kind of hard to see the spawner. Um, bang. There we go. We mine something and we are going going to be moving into our box in the main base as well as we should probably sell all of our cactus farms there's not going to be a lot of money in here because again i kind of stopped caring about afking them so the alts are kind of on and off i don't really care but i mean it's extra money so we're going to come over here we're going to hit a sell on every cactus farm like this one only has 128k per chest this is going to make us like a couple million dollars and that is it and bro why is 1 million xp going for 50 million dollars right now bro there's no way that's the way i haven't grinded xp in quite some time but bro these prices are jacked all the way up but boom we just sold that f4 cac 2 is there gonna be any oh bro yeah i don't think this was being afk'd at all 
um let's go ahead and see oh actually wow this one has a lot of money in it wow that is actually extremely surprising there wasn't even an alt on this one but yeah we take those but dude the people who were glitching in that's why this is all obbied off over here because they kept glitching in the obby didn't stop them though but yeah people are weird this is actually the only season i ever had to deal with pearl glitchers and it was super super annoying but i guess i know for future seasons bro but they would literally glitch in sell my own stuff and then i'd have to ask admins to give me the money back get them banned all of that stuff it was definitely a whole process hopefully this is the only season that ever happens to me because guys i mean it's fairly obvious to check if you glitched in and sold the chest all you have to do is slash f inspect and then you click it and then it will literally show you who sold the chest so guys like just don't be brain dead bro all right just don't glitch in but there we go this cactus farm's done and then f4 cac 3 this is going to be the last one we actually do have an uh, alt account on this one at the moment and three million wow never mind bro we are running up the bag with these cactus farms they're actually still not that bad maybe i should have uh, afk them for just a little bit longer but again tnt enables tomorrow so everybody's probably gonna raid this cactus farm just blow in it's gonna be cooked anyway i should have honestly sold these chests with raiding outposts bro i didn't know it was gonna be this much money so that's a little bit of a bag sell but it's it's all good bang there we go we are up to 300 million off that i will 100 percent take it but now for all these igs guys if i just chunk info real quick we got all the way up to 1.1k igs and again i wish i was gonna be online for tnt enable because we could just raid some people and just stack up my igs even more that's what we did a couple seasons ago and we honestly made it out pretty rich this is like the first season though that i can't be on right whenever tnt enables so that sucks a little bit but we'll be back next season raiding some spawners and stuff i'll still try and look for some raids with some uh actual spawners in it but you know don't expect me to get any crazy raids because again bro f top number two only has 20 billion dollars how many igs do they even have f top number two actually i mean twenty thousand does sound pretty good but anyways bang we sold everything let's f who breached and they are 10 out of 10 whenever i started this clip they did have a spot open but i guess we're gonna have to take a real quick cut wait and then uh transfer all of our spawners over to the main box all right guys we finally got the entire base set up i got rotated out of faction had to join back once again wait for a spot to open up bro it was super super annoying but we got everything here. Let's go ahead and get all of our blaze spawners down. I might be grinding out a little bit of XP in today's episode. I do need a little bit more money. All right. The reason I need money is because I want to complete this little eight lore orc set that we have, but we got to buy equalizer. We have to buy abyss. And dude, I have no clue why I am lagging so hard in this base. If I just hit a quick roam, like am I next to one of the richest boxes in the game, this has to be stacks of one IGs. There's no way they have this like crazy amount, but I don't know, bro. I can't figure out why we're lagging. Maybe I have a potato PC, but look, we've already gen in, bro, $200 million since the last clip of AFK. Hasn't been long at all. And if I do slash outpost now that we are in the main faction we're probably pretty much gonna always have the rating outpost we can sell that and that got us 270 million dollars so if i age search abyss like how much is this going for this is only a 47 percent bro and that is 150 mil 220 million for abyss 4 bro that is ridiculous like on an orc set is crazy bro i just don't need it that bad i feel like let's search equalizer for the pants all right yeah this is way more reasonable bro um that's equalizer 3 I don't really mind an equalizer three, especially if it's just on the pants on an orc set. Yeah, just 100%. Just throw that on there. Wait, oh, bro, we need armor orbs. But I am also about to head out and start looking for a vault that we're going to raid whenever TNT enables. Preferably not somebody who's super, super active online on the server. Also, wait, hold on. I want to pop my V kit because I do want a chef axe because I do have this mask right here that has a chef mask on it. But, oh, is this, oh, bro, this doesn't even have chef. We just got rinsed on our V kit roll. Never mind. If I go into my PV1, do we have a decent one in here? I mean, this is chef five. You know what? We're, we're going to rock with this axe axe actually and we are going to equip this multi-mask right here not sure how good of a mask it is but it's just an orc set i'm not too worried about it and i actually need some slot crystals 25 mil for 44 is a insane tax price but we're just gonna do it bang get equalizer three on there now we do i i have a fat six somewhere is it in here oh we have a fat six right here go ahead add the armor or bang one slot honestly dude maybe all i will need is nine lord because what even goes on the helmet i don't want to waste like a mirage on the helmet yeah honestly for right now we're just gonna rock like that and now let's go ahead oh wait i got a lover's balloon hold on what does this do plus max two hearts deal an extra 20 percent oh with bows valentine's ability chance to be immune to curse enchantments i think i just rather the icy balloon immune to deathbringer damage thank you very much i don't i don't think the lover balloon is that good there is a balloon that like if you have it you actually sell for more money 
that would be amazing if we had that but i have no clue how to get that balloon i don't even know what it's called anyways we're gonna hit a slash spawn and if i take a look in my pv1 you guys actually probably already saw it we have some hype boxes right here anyways for right now it's time to slash wild we are gonna run around and look for some bases to raid if i could find like a low key base with some spawners that would be great but let's go ahead f map on Oh, dude, there's going to be so many. Yeah, this is a cactus farm. We don't care about that. But I'm going to take a cut right here. I'll bring you guys back if I find any bases. All right, guys. It is now the complete next day, which means it is going to be TNT enabled today. Now, like I said, I am going to miss the start of TNT enable, all right? But I flew around, guys, and I basically set home at every single vault that I found. Now, I didn't go on World Border because all of the bases on World Border are going to get raided immediately. That's where everybody looks for bases. So all of my bases have just been like randomly placed in the uh like slash wild which means hopefully not a ton of people have found them but anyways right now we are in the main faction um i just sold my chest we have 768 million dollars and i do have tnt in here that i am saving because we are going to deposit it to our alt faction so we can go raiding but anyways guys for right now let me come over here we're going to slash shop we are going to buy ourselves some ig spawners i had to fix my gas farm real quick that's why we have that but igs we can buy like two stacks and still have plenty of money left over almost two hundred mil so we'll buy like an extra 34 igs right here bang there we go and then chunk info what are we up to we are up to almost 1500 igs so now we're gonna deposit all of that tnt into our alt faction we just get that from creeper spawners i am going to f leave the main faction f join click bait and then we already have a TNT one. If I do slash FTNT, we already have like 161,000 TNT in there, but that is not a ton. So we're going to spam this until I think our one ends up breaking. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys some of the raids that I have found. If I do slash home R, I'm telling you, I set home at basically everything. Look, this, oh no. They've already mined this one up. This one used to have spawners in it, bro. Yeah, they've already left. They've already moved out of here. But I believe Home Raid 2 is our biggest raid if they didn't mine spawners. Because I believe this is the base that actually had some spawners in it. And it was a lot. It was like a thousand IGs. So, and nope, it's gone. Oh, it's all gone. Wow. There were literally a thousand IGs in this box. Now, oh my god. The guy's... Bro, he just opened that chest. He is literally online right now this could still be a fun raid if we just beam into his box he might have some good stuff this over here is obviously all going to be enchant runes but look it's literally wide open we just have to blow into the base and there's another one this is frog probably his teammate it, he probably isn't as active as this guy because again this guy is literally online right now so we might still try to raid this and pray to god we get some loot out of their vault chests but yeah no spawners from this one let's go to home raid three this one um okay pretty weird base setup let's hit a slash roam what do we have here oh my bro all of these guys are online okay this is uh oh he's on oh he's on i just heard him open chest i'm out i just want to take a look at what he's got um oh yeah he has some spawners actually where is he though um he's right here oh bro this guy is online as well he does have some spawners but i'm assuming these will be gone by the time i actually get on but look he does have a little bit of a vault system set up over here white scrolls black scrolls we could definitely loot that and then this is the next raid we have some like kind of trash spawners in here but there are igs no clue how many are in there and then some magmas kind of trash uh spawners but hey i said we were gonna raid every single vault we came across and i believe i only have one more set home if we do slash home r6 this should be the last raid that i ended up finding we could still look for more oh wait what the hell oh this is in a different planet oh this one's right here so there's actually no printer allowed in this uh world but are the spawners gone nope they're oh my god the spawners are terrible there's gonna be nothing in here bro absolutely nothing but for right now that is every raid that we have a set home at and yeah those bases are still unlooted by the time i get back online that is what we're going to be hitting. I flew around for hours last night just looking for raids. I was literally up to like 2 in the morning before I chalked it and just went to bed. So maybe we'll have better luck whenever we get back online. And maybe for the next episode, I can find some better raids. We'll have to wait and see what's left. So I'm going to take a cut right here. The next clip is going to be uh, after TNT enabled. And yeah, we will be hitting a raid. All right, guys, we are back online. It is probably about like two and a half hours or something like that after TNT enabled. I just went over to my first raid. That, again, I forgot already got moved spawners-wise, but look at my slash near. What's going on here, bro? We might have uh, a little fight on our hands if we can find where the hell these players actually are. I thought Rome would work. Are they in here? Oh my god. 
We have found him. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly away. I'm gonna creep rag in, bro. I don't know if they know TNT is enabled. Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, I promise you, not scripted content. Wait, wait, is it Abby? It's not, you can cake right in. Oh my God, they're cooked. Are they AFK, guys? I promise you on everything I love. That looks insanely scripted, okay? But it's literally right next to my first raid. I already showed you guys what we were raiding. Slash shop, let me hop in here, bud. Where, um, we just need regular creeper eggs right now. Um, I don't, I doubt they're gonna have a whole lot of spawners if we're just being real. But we're gonna do slash gold shop because I am going to purchase lucky kegs anyway. Um, over here, lucky creeper eggs. Go ahead, add some, uh, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of gold. That's 2,300 gold. Okay, we're gonna have to hang on to these bad boys. But, yeah, we're, we're getting into this space real quick. You can literally keg. I hope they're AFK. Wait, wait, what is this? What the, bro, they have like a cocoa bean farm going on. Oh, they are bots for sure. <laughs> we're gonna smite this thing. I'm gonna try and get in quick because if they are here, oh, nah. No, 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 let me in. He's back, he's back, he's back. Let me in. Wait, dude, it's not full obby, is it? I swear to God it wasn't. Oh, Packed! Packed! Oh my god! That's my bad, bro. Um, what kind of... Sp Did he mine the spawners? No, 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 he didn't. The IGs are here. It's one IG, dude. Um, he messaged me, please, no. Uh, I, I will leave. It's one IG. If it was something I actually needed, I would have robbed it. But, you know, I'm a nice guy. We're gonna... I do want to see if they come back in a set. That would be lit, bro. I mean, it is a 1v2. Wait, did he log off? Was his name not Mend? Bro, he's spamming me, please, no. I won't... I'm leaving. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, that's unfortunate. I think he just thought he was underground. It was super unfortunate that I literally found this right next to my raid. I will leave, bro. I'm sorry. This was the next raid we had set up. It used to have a thousand IGs in it, but again, now it is just going to be. We're gonna raid it for a vault. All right, I have to raid every single base I see. This is one of the bases, unfortunately. No spawners, but could have some decent loot inside of it. And one of the leaders is actually online, bro. This guy might have a god set. Um, he's in expeditions right now, but like just looking at his pets, this guy might be stacked. And a grappler, I don't even have a grappler. Okay, guys, so we have to get naked. Uh, real, uh, whoa, pause. Um, we have to take off our armor and then do slash printer. Okay, there we go. I claimed the round. I don't think I'm gonna have to print in a box. Um, because I think this guy's in expeditions, and it's gonna basically be like five walls. I don't think he'll catch me, so we're gonna try and get away with just building this, blowing in, and then taking his loot and hitting the dip. Honestly, if he does want to fight, though, I am down. He might kill me though, bro. He might be cracked. Who knows? And bang. Quick little print. I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and turn off printer now. Um, hopefully that's everything. I didn't really like relog to check if there was any missing blocks. Can I just like hide and unhide it maybe? Boom, boom. Will that show me if there are missing blocks? Because we just watered the entire thing. Now we got to fill it with TNT and then we're good to go. Oh, wait, no, no, the hell we're not. I almost forgot this hand. Okay, guys, I just asked my faction and it's slash bot bang. There we go. He's here. He should uh print in toggle printing. Boom. Oh, uh, wait, click here to disable. Okay, so yeah, bang. The sand bot is going crazy. Now we just have to FTNT fill, I believe. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Thank God I found this, bro. Um, hopefully everything else is printed in. Let's just do one more check. It just placed the freaking ice again, dude. Damn it. Let's button this thing one more time. Please don't blow up, bro. Um, yeah, that's clicked. I think I did turn printer back on. Let's turn that back off. And wait, did it just fucking blow up? Oh, wait, no, it didn't, bro. We're good. Whoa, yo, massive server lag. I'm not gonna lie. The server like literally froze for me for a second. So I got scared and unlevered. Thank God it didn't blow up, bro. The server legit froze. I don't know if that was me or what the hell's going on. Let's go check out the base. Hopefully we are in. We used quite a decent amount of shots. I don't know if the sand is supposed to be doing that, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. And bang, we have breached the base. Um, slash near. No one's here. The guy is online though. Dude, he's an expeditions grinder. Okay, nice. We can walk in right here. I was about to say, I could have sworn this thing was open. No, no. I know you got loot in here, bro. You're an expeditions grinder. Maybe this is the broke side of the, uh, of the vault because there's no way, right? Um, Let's check over here. Oh, random shit. Okay, I enjoy me some random stuff from time to time. Not any of this though. Um, Chunk busters, I'll take that. Creeper eggs. Oh, dude, is this looking like a brokey? He does have a lot of masks, which um, since I didn't do expeditions this season, really isn't that bad. I will take these. I mean, got a decent amount of like mid pets here that are just kind of annoying to get. He has some soul gems I could take, Um, black scrolls. Okay, yeah, this is looking like uh, first raid is an L, bro. He does have one other side over here with chests. So let's raid this vault system. 
Does he even have anything? I think this was like the less active member. Oh yeah, this thing is looking dead. And yeah, this raid was dead. Since I did use some TNT, we're gonna leave him just a little surprise, just so he knows we were here, you know. He actually did have a lot of masks right there. Um, I'm good though, I'm good though, all right. I think we've done enough damage. Uh, let's move on to the next raid. This one is gonna suck because it is all sand walls and he built his base at an extremely low Y, so we're gonna have to shoot really low. Oh, but this one does have spawners though. Any IEGs? Oh, there's IEGs in this one. Okay, this is beautiful. Some blazes. Oh, this vault is looking juicy. Yeah, we're, we're hitting this raid. It's gonna take a whole lot of TNT shots. I can't lie to you. He said, bro, don't mind. What is he talking? Dude, he's online, no. Wait, we literally in the same fact. Bro, I don't know what this block of cheese guy is talking about. Is he in this base? Oh my, they're cannon blue. Jesus Christ, buddy. All right, yeah, I think I can set a cannon up quicker than these guys. The only problem is I don't know what raid interference is. Like, I don't know the timer or anything like that. So that might be a little annoying. Yeah, I don't really know what to do, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? Fatty is crazy. Want to come raid with me? All right, apparently this guy's in breached. Let's, uh, let's go talk to this guy. Yo, you're a block of cheese? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, guys. So, I'm actually... I invited that guy to my faction. Um, That was not planned, obviously. Um, I didn't even know he was in Breach as well, but we're both in the Breach Discord. So, I'm going to move on to a different little raid. This is the fourth one that we found. It's a cactus farm, but they did have a chest storage system in the middle of it. So, I mean, boom, we're in. But yeah, I'm going to let him set up a cannon over there. He's in my faction, so he can use my TNT and everything. Not a big deal. Bang, let's hop on down. I think there was like one stack of IGs in here. Let's take a look. Ooh, white scrolls. I know this might sound crazy, but I do kind of need those. Slot crystals. Yes, thank you. Kegs. Oh, beautiful, bro. Keg, mother load. Thank you. Why did I just take the pots, bro? Give me the kegs. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Oh, so many masks, bro. So many. Yep. This was actually uh, not bad. Obviously not crazy good, but we'll take all of these masks and everything. I don't think any of them are really online, so I can just kind of toss all my pots right here. PV2. Um, wait, no, that's my pets. PV3. These are all of the masks. And yeah, we should be solid on masks after this. Ooh, TNT ones. Thank you very much, bro. That's gold that I don't have to spend. Down here, it's just going to be a grip of runes. I'll just leave these for them. Don't really care about those. But do we still have... Ooh, IGs. One. One IG. And hey, eight creepers. There's no way in hell I am using a lucky keg on eight creepers and one IG. Oh, what did we get? We got something. We got the one IG. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Home raid. I think this is going to be number five. See if we can get into this base super quick. If not, we'll just head back to the other one. See the progress slash roam. Oh, okay. This is, a, this is a super easy base to raid. Guys, no way. This is bro's claim. Holy hell, bro. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Give me the TNT. This is all we're going to need right here. Uh, yeah. Um, Oh, wait. I mean, it does take like 14 T shots to blow it. Okay. Never mind. We are in. Hey, we got some uh, spawners to ourselves. But how many IDs are we talking here? Two. Dude, what is going on with everybody being poor, bro? Does he at least maybe have like a lot of blazes? One blaze in this, but there's another set. One. Okay. Again, using regular kegs for this. Thank you very much. Wait, what do you mean TP right now? Like, do you want me to make my cannon or? Oh, uh, we, we just started the tunnel if you want to TP. Oh, okay, but I'll be there in one second. I'm just raiding this little trash faction real quick. Should... <laughs> bro, there's like no spawn. I have to raid every single base I find, bro. And there's... Yeah, You're not good. All right. I'll put another I'm... one after this. Oh, do you? Is it like good? Spawners? No. Oh, okay. Awesome. I'm in. Oh, yeah, like, one, last wall, last wall, stop. Oh, stop, right? yeah, it's, uh, yeah, bro, it's gonna be. You, you told me way too late, bro. Hopefully it didn't blow up the spawners. It's, I, I unlevered it, but, okay. It's, last shot will be coming in, if it hasn't already. Oh, yeah, it's just, like, a bunch of G-Kit. Oh, wait, creeper spawners, you know, I'll take it. Throw it in the box. I got four, I got 14 creeper spawners. Let me check the top. Do you have a flint? Uh, let it. Oh, GG. oh my god, bro. Why do they have so many different stacks, son? <laughs> oh, wait, they have silverfish. Ooh, How many? Just three. But oh, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's still not bad. I think vibes might have gotten the ice. No, I got I got 10. I got 10. You guys can. Oh, yeah. I, I don't need 10. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, we can hit this. We can hit this. Okay, you ready? Uh, um, this right here. Yep. I don't know if it'll reach. Bang. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Here, you can keep it because I don't need it. I oh, oh, enough. Light it. Ooh. Holy shit, bro. We almost wasted that. Uh, it was three. Here, grab that and then come up here. I'll drop you the spawners. 
I'm going to keep the creepers, though. Oh, yeah, you're going to have the creepers. Because you need them for all right, bang. All the spawners over here. All right, guys. I'm not sure how much of that last clip you are going to see. Block of cheese and all of his boys, bro. They printed in a cannon. It didn't work. We printed in a tunneler. That worked, but then the other cannon to actually get through the sand walls blew up. So then I printed in my cannon. I was like, you know, I got this. And then I didn't line it up properly. And we completely missed all of the tunnel. Had to retunnel it and breach the base. That was a whole process, guys. This is the last set home at a raid that I have. If I do slash home. Um, okay, well, we're in enemy territory. Let me just back up slash home. This is home R6 and this raid looks horrible But like I said, we're raiding every single thing that we see but this raid is terrible unless they have like a god set in their chest That would be amazing. But boom we are in and that is gonna. Oh, yeah. Yep straight cheeks Wait, oh if there was like an isla portal, I would have actually taken that item flip credits I guess i'll take I mean hey level 24 ig we will take it but the rest straight poverty bro i cannot lie to you but anyways that's gonna do it for this video you know sometimes you get godlike raids i was just testing my luck praying to god we got a crazy vault but unfortunately it did not happen anyways if you guys enjoy drop a like sub if you guys are new come check out the server with royal.mindcadia.com slash redeem royal on factions or pixelmon whatever you guys prefer either way whenever you guys use that code or my ip it does directly support me so i greatly appreciate it and i will catch you guys in the next episode of factions